don't know about you guys, but when I feel like everything in my life is spiraling into a state of chaos, I like to organize my wardrobe to give me a sense of control. Like in these trying times, my label maker is my best friend. Hey everyone, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready for another decluttering video? I don't think I am. As many of you probably know at this point, I'm meant to be leaving Bahrain at the end of June, but that's still very much up in the air because I don't know if it's gonna be safe to travel at that point and can anyone really make any kind of plan in this climate? I don't think so. Either way, at some point I'm gonna be leaving and I'm gonna have to pack up all my stuff into my suitcases and transport it all home via airplane. I think decluttering before you move is always a good idea because what's the point in boxing up and transporting a bunch of junk that you don't want? It's just a waste of time and energy. But particularly in my case where I'm going to have to pay extra for every like additional kilogram that I own and that I'm taking with me, the pressure is on. I've been living in Bahrain for almost two full years now and while I haven't really bought a lot of stuff since I've been here except for, oh my gosh, quite a few camel statues. I have a lot of them. <laughs> no one needs this many decorative camels. But camels aside, I haven't really bought that much stuff. I haven't really bought a lot of clothes or anything. But since I was going home twice a year, I would like put a few more bits of clothing in my suitcase each time. My wardrobe is a lot more full now than it was when I first got here. And I still have the same luggage allowance to get it all back with me. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna do a wardrobe declutter. I'm gonna try and keep it con Mary style because that always works for me. Hopefully it won't take too long. So before we jump in and take on that mammoth task, I wanna put this out there to you guys and ask you for advice. If I have clothes that I wanna donate somewhere, where would be the best place? Because I know I see these little bins like on the side of the road, like the Tree of Life Foundation is one, and there are a bunch of them where they ask for clothing donations. But I don't know if my clothes are the kind of donations that they want because I do have like a couple of pairs of shorts and like some tank tops and I just don't know if those are the kinds of clothes that they want because it's more of a, you know, Western style. So if you know of somewhere where I can put these clothes to good use, then please let me know because I don't want anything to go to waste. Y'all know me, waste is not acceptable to me. And now, <laughs> let's declutter. Wish me luck. Okay, so as per the KonMari method, the first thing I'm gonna do is collect all of my clothes from all of their various storage spaces and put them into one pile on my bed. This is super helpful when you're decluttering because just going through your wardrobe, partly you can miss things out and you're not really paying that much attention to each item individually, whereas when you physically have to like pick them up and put them into a pile, you're forced to confront them. And also seeing all of your clothes in one place makes you very aware of just how much you own. And trust me, it's always a shock. So I have some of my clothes in my wardrobe. I have some of my clothes in my chest of drawers right here. And then this morning when I was getting dressed, I realized that actually I think most of my clothes are in my laundry basket of doom, which is overflowing and probably a health and safety hazard at this point. Okay, let's declutter now. And I'm gonna put on Lizzo so I can jam out while I do this. quite quickly as I was going through my wardrobe and pulling things out I was like wow I really don't have a lot at all and then I opened my dresser drawers and very quickly 
a whole mountain of clothing has appeared before my eyes as is always the case when I do this. <sighs> okay, so this is what we're working with right now which is definitely going to be more than two suitcases worth of stuff especially when you consider that I don't just have clothes to take home with me literally everything that I have has to fit into two suitcases and a carry-on is anyone else getting a little concerned that that might not happen right now based on what we're seeing I've got a couple of problematic items that I can pick out before we even begin this one of them is this wonderful little furry fluffy jacket thing that all my friends make fun of me for owning because they're like who are you trying to be in this jacket but I put it on over my PJs kind of like a dressing gown and look how fluffy it is I mean I know I look very extra and it, it is kind of like girl who are you but it's so warm and comfy and I love it but in terms of taking up space in a suitcase, it's pretty bulky, but I love it and I can't let it go. I can't, I love it. Look at it, it's so soft. The next questionable thing is gonna be my Jalabia. If you guys saw the vlog from before Christmas, when Abida and I went out and bought Jalabias for Bahrain National Day, You'll remember this one. There's never gonna be another time in my life where it's acceptable for me to wear a Jalabia. You know what, what difference does it make? It's Fox Joy and I'm going to keep it. We're gonna speed this up. We're gonna do a little bit of a montage about it and hopefully I make good choices. We'll see. <laughs> is that was the fastest that I've ever gone through and sorted my clothes into keep and not keep. The negative is that this mountain towering above me is the pile of things that I want to keep. Here's the issue that I have. When you move to a different country and you can only take a limited number of things, the things that you take are going to be your favorite things. You're not gonna take stuff that you don't like. And now, I have too many things that bring me joy. Let me walk you through, other than that, this whole situation, let me walk you through <laughs> the other piles that we have because I did veer away from what I was meant to be doing. Typically, with the KonMari method, you have, it sparks joy and it doesn't spark joy. I have a maybe pile and I always end up with a maybe pile. I never want one because I know I'm not technically allowed to have one. But a maybe pile always creeps in. And in this case, the maybe pile is because they're things that I like and things that I use a lot. But if I can't fit them in the case, then these are the things that I would be most willing to sacrifice. This small pile right here is my maybe pile. And let me just talk you through that and my thought process with some of these things. Okay, so for instance, I have some pajamas in here. They're Beauty and the Beast pajamas. I do have genuine love for these, but the pajama top has a hole in it. It's very discolored, it's very worn, and I mean, they're just not great quality to begin with, but I had to buy them because they have Mrs. Potts on them and I couldn't say no. So as much as I do love them, it's like, they are falling apart. I have a few things here that I do like and I do get wear out of, but I'm wondering if maybe they're just like past their time. This skirt I love. I talked about this in one of my no buyer updates. Um, I love this skirt. I love this skirt, but it keeps getting holes in it and I keep repairing it and then new holes keep coming and I'm like, is this worth my time and effort? So that's my maybe pile. This is the pile of stuff that is just past its best and needs to go to the recycling. And then finally, way in the back, this is the stuff that I would like to find a new home for. So if you guys, again, know anywhere that I could take this stuff, any place where I could find someone who would want it, let me know that this is a lot of stuff 
to pack into my suitcases. It's gonna weigh a lot. I wonder how much this, is this heavy? Ugh, this is heavy. It's a little concerning. Okay, the next thing that I need to do right now is to put everything that I wanna keep back into my wardrobe and uh, try and get my room back into a state of uh, normality. Okay, all of the clothes are back away in the various drawers and wardrobes. And I have two bags of stuff to get rid of. I feel like I want to do shoes too, but honestly, I don't have that many pairs of shoes here, so we can wrap that up in about five minutes. Okay, shoes, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I said that I didn't have very many pairs of shoes and now I take that back. In my head, I thought that I had like six pairs, but I guess not. This is gonna be super easy. I already know which shoes I wanna keep and which shoes I wanna get rid of, which is nice. These are honestly the most expensive sandals that I have ever purchased. They weren't like obscenely expensive. I think they were 40 pound, which for me, I don't pay that much for shoes. So they were a real investment shoe because I wanted super comfortable shoes for work. And they ended up being the least comfortable pair of shoes that I own. I'm gonna get rid of these. My cowboy boots, both pairs need to stay. I love these, also love these. And then these, if you guys saw my most recent JJ's house haul, I got these. They're so cute. They're so cute, but they just fit me kind of weird. And so every time I put them on, I'm like, these are adorable, but just not on my feet. So those can go too. These are really dirty. I need to clean these. That's a problem for a different day. <gasps> that was comparatively painless. I have had decluttering sessions that have lasted for like seven hours. So to be able to wrap this up in less than three, I would call a success. And I also have three bags of clothes to get rid of, so that's another success. Packing might not be so much of a success, but that's next month's problem and we'll just see how that goes. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another declutter with me video. I know that you guys love these. I love making them. It's been difficult to make decluttering videos. I mean, in this apartment, I don't have that much to declutter, but when I move home eventually, if that's next month or in July or whenever, I've got a lot of stuff that I've just been storing at my parents' house while I've been living abroad and it needs to be dealt with. Part of me was toying with the idea of doing a really intense, hardcore, five-day declutter challenge where I declutter a different category every single day for five days and like invite you guys to join me and we make it a community thing. Is that crazy? I don't know. Is it something that you would like to see? I don't know that either. I'm hesitant to kind of just roll with it because I know it's gonna be a huge challenge, but if it's something that you guys would like to see, like a full on five day declutter, if you want that, I will do it. But for now, I am so excited to go eat something. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't had breakfast yet. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, why not? It's free and fun and wonderful and I really appreciate it. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.